Hello, welcome back to Jojo's Baker House. I'm Ginny and I have seen these cookie pie cakes everywhere and I thought why not? I'll have a go. So I've actually not done this before. So you're going to do it with me and we're going to see how it comes out. So I'm going to be as um, interested in this as what you are. So let's give it a go. Right, let's begin. So I normally, for my cookie, this is just my cookie mixture. This is the one I always use. So fingers crossed it works well for this. Um, I always use um, a bowl to show you, but today I'm feeling lazy. So I'm putting it in the mixer. Right, so all my ingredients, see here, there's a little down arrow thing. Click that, all of the ingredients will come down. So make sure you do that. So first off, in goes the melted butter and the brown sugar and the white sugar. There we go. And we're going to put that on and mix it up. You're not going to get a lot of air into it um, because it's melted and because it's liquid it's going to prevent a lot of air going into it so don't think it's going to do a hell of a lot. So now we need the next lot of ingredients, which is one egg, plain flour, I'm going with all the dry, and uh, that can go in after. Right, that's it. So now in with one egg, Plain flour, cocoa powder, if you don't want it to be a chocolate one, leave that bit out. Then I've got bicarb in here, baking powder and salt. And corn flour. And that is all going to get mixed up. And I'm really, I'm going to have to get a tea towel. One sec. Right, put that on low, the lowest you can, just to mix it up. It's done. Right, so about 30 seconds. Then we're going to put in our chocolate chips. So I've got white chocolate and milk chocolate, because that's what my kids like. My mixer doesn't like this bit. That's it. I think you love simple recipes, but so, so quick and easy. Right, let's get rid of this. Oh, vanilla! I'll keep it there in front of me. Let's just mix that in. Because I like the vanilla, it brings out that chocolate. Right, that's it. There we go. Right then, now what we need to do, separate bowl, lined tin, and knock all this off. And we're going to have this mixture. Get rid of that. Okay. Oh, so I think, so we've got quite a bit. Look at it, looks so nice. Right. So I've got this amount in here and this amount in here. You'll, this will make sense in a second. Clean hands, obviously. Take some of this, put it in. I'll show you in a second. To whatever thickness you want it to be. Now I know I normally freeze mine. I'm not going to freeze it this time. So I could come to regret. But remember, I've not done this. So we'll soon find out whether I should have frozen it or not. Right. show you what it looks like so far. That's what it looks like so far. I'm just covering the bottom bit. Try and get it all the same. Right, and then we need to come up a bit on the sides. Because it's a pie. So I don't know if I've got enough mixture. Might have gone too thick on the bottom. 
I'll have to take some from the top. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm nearly there, I think. Right. All the way around. Can you actually see? Yeah, you can see what I'm doing. Enough. <laughs> it's so sticky. But that's the fun, isn't it? Right, that is literally all I'm getting out of this one. So now I'm going to have to attack this. Which I didn't really want to do. But it'd be fine. Right, there we go. That's what I look like. So I'm all pushed in at the bottom. There's no gaps. I've tried to make it so that it's all around about an equal amount on the way up. So hand wash time and then we're going to fill it. Right. Let's fill it. So, what have I got? I've got some Biscoff, I've got some Nutella, and I've got some Oreos. Why not? So first off, I'm going to put Biscoff in. Right, and then, just like that, and then just smear it all around. Hope, try not to pick it up. Don't make holes. As easy as it looks. Oh, the smell of that. It's so nice. Hang on. Spoon time. Spoon. That's easier. Right. Give it a jiggle. Side to side. Jiggle it, jiggle it. Right. And we've got a nice layer of that. Go. Oh, that spoon's easier. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. into the oh, I don't know. Look. We're just playing. It'll work. She says. Maybe they need to be a bit more spaced out. Okay, space them out of it because it doesn't quite fit. There we go. So it goes like that. And I've got another one. will fit in. And another one. I want to fit three. Yes. There we go. <laughs> They're in there. Careful not to push too much out to the edges because you don't want it to break your, um, the wall. Alright, so get rid of those. Nutella. Another spoon. Calorism in this. <laughs> okay, so begin. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Side to side. Oh my days. Wiggle, wiggle. See, I knew I needed more of this one, of the, of the Nutella, because it was going to drape down in between. So, oh, I was clever with that one. Right. Wiggle wiggled is done. Trying to just seal it all around the edges. There. Hey. Now we've got to sort this out. I'm going to move this. Hate mess. Right, give me that. And these. Bring this in. So I thought I'd be clever. I want to make a, a top for that. So I traced around the size of my tin. So the pencil bit is which side? That side. So I don't want to use that one. Now, to be clever, 
I'm assuming I need to make this the same size as this. And I'm hoping I have enough mixture. So we are going to push it out. No, come on, be nice. Be pushing. Have to have enough. You just have to have enough. I think I've done that anyway. I think we're good. Right. I'm a little bit off, but this was the outside of the dish, she says. Okay. There we go. Right, so now I've got to try and get this in here somehow. So if I, I don't know, pop it on, let go. Yay! Look. Right, and then those side bits. I'm going to push all these down so that this completely meets. I don't want oozing. See what I mean? This bit here. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing all this in. Just so that there are no gaps. A little bit like plasticine. Play-doh. Got a bit of leakage going on there. So that bit right in. Brilliant. Do you know this is coming together a lot better than I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to create a complete disaster but it's not. Right. All of it in, in, in. Meeting up. Right it's going to go into the oven. I have got mine at my usual cookie cake um, temperature which is 160 to 170 fan, 180 to 190 on a conventional oven and I'm going to put this in for 20 minutes and I'm going to see what happens. Right, completely covered, no seepage, no leakage, let's get it in the oven and I will come back to you in 20 minutes when I take it out and um, we'll have a look. See you in a minute. Right, it's been 20 minutes. My alarm just went off. Let's get out. If I can get to it. Okay. It's still slightly gooey on the top. There we go. I don't want to move it about too much because it's going to squish. So, we can do nothing now. It's done all around the outsides. I can see it does look like a little bit in the middle, but that's what normally happens. So, we are just going to come back in an hour. It's going to have to go in the fridge. This needs to set. So, I think this one is a good two hours. Cool here, then into the fridge for an hour, then we'll go for it. So, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay, it's out of the fridge. Turned it upside down. Let's have a look. A little bit scared. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Right, what am I going to do now? Oh, oh, lovely. Look at that. That looks really nice. So there is our cookie cake. Now we just need to take a slice out of it. Okay, let's take this slice. So, what's it gonna look like? Oh wow. Right, one. to follow we kind of did it together so um 
I will see you again soon. Enjoy this pie. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.